begin you want to take the number of threads that's used in the pattern but divide it by two and then double the length of the threads compared to what you'd normally use and remember to make the thread you're using to create the first part of your loop longer than the others and then you want to match the ends and run them through your fingers to find the center and then you can tie a temporary knot and clip it to the top of your board Next you want to take the thread that you're going to use to create your loop and you want to work over the rest of the threads and pull it under and through and then you want to work underneath and pull it over and through and then just keep repeating this until you've got the first part of your loop as long as you want it. So once you've done, you can unclip this from the board, pull the temporary knot out and then you can bend your loop into place and you can clip it to the top of your board. So next you want to take your two sections, put one section out of the way to begin with and to create the first part the loop where you taper you want to remove the corner section and you want to take the threads that are going to work down diagonally going from the center to the left so you want to take the colors according to the colors that show up in that line so the first one is going to be white so you want to work your white thread over the rest of the threads and pull through and then you want to pull it under and pull through Then you want to take your next colour, which for me is going to be purple. And you want to do the same thing again, but you won't be working over the white colour that you've just used. So again, take the purple of the rest of the threads and pull through. And then underneath the rest of the threads and pull through. And then you can drop this one with the white and then take the next colour, which for me is going to be red. and then work over the rest of the threads and pull through and then under the rest of the threads and pull through and then again drop this one and take the next colour which is going to be blue work over the threads and pull through and then under the threads and pull through and then drop and then the next colour which is green and to work over and through and then under and through and then again drop this colour so you want to take the next colour which is orange and work it over the last remaining thread and then under and then you can put these out the way and you can do a mirror image at the other side so you have to take all the threads in this order so working from the center outwards you just want to do a mirror of what you've done at this side so you want to go over and pull through and then under and pull through and then drop the thread that you've just worked and then take the next colour and do the same thing at the other side and again do this until you've worked all the threads
So once you've done this, you should end up with something that looks like that. And now you want to do the part where you fill in the little triangle in the centre to work back to your straight edge. So to do this, you want to start off with the two centre threads. And I'm going to be doing a forward knot, but you want to follow whichever pattern you're using. And whichever knot is in this section, this is the direction that you want to work in. So for the first row, you will just do the one knot in the centre. And for your second row, you should have two knots in the centre, so you'll be working the four threads in the centre here. And again, just follow the knotting sequence of the pattern, which for me is a backward forward knot at this side. And then a forward backward knot. But again, as I say, this will depend on what knotting sequence is in your pattern, the one that you're converting. So don't copy the knotting sequence that I'm doing here, just using this as a guide. So you may be seeing a theme here, but now you want to do the six threads in the centre to create three knots. So your first one will be in this position, and for me, this is a forward backward. And then a forward. And then a backward forward. So next is the eight threads in the centre to create four knots. So for me, that's a backward knot in this position. And then another backward knot. And then two forward knots. So next, it's the 10 threads in the centre, and then taking the one in this position, for me, this is a backward forward knot. And then another backward forward knot. A forward knot. And then two forward backward knots. So once you've filled in this section here, you can then move on to doing from a straight edge as you normally would do and just complete your bracelet all the way down in the regular way.